Hey, look, don't, don't yell at me. Spirit got me up this damn morning. I don't even know what the hell. You ever heard one of those voices in your head say, get up? And I'm like, be fuck for real, dog. Okay, 605. What you mean? I don't need no message. I don't know. What's, what's the message, please? Hey, Google. What's the message? Sorry, I can't read messages on this device yet. I don't know, but I found these results on search. What's the re hey, Google. Read the results. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't understand shit. This is this. Whatever song come up. Hey, Google. Play music. Playing on YouTube music. Oh my God. Hey Google, volume down three times. Free yourself. Hey Google, stop. That's the message. Free yourself. What's this energy going on for cancer? I got a little kitten gone. Hey y'all, somebody came and got. I posted the cats right playing, and guess who they went for? Zeus, badass. They went for the baddest cat. He was in the box. Yeah, one of his brothers was at the top trying to get in. He was beating him up, and then his sister was uh, in the box, and the other brother was trying to get in from the front. He was beating him up. So she gonna sit up there and say some. Um, I was the black one in the box. I'm like, girl, y'all love Tech Terry and then be shot. He did this. He told us up. He did it. Did, did. Girl, his name is Zeus. The fuck you think he gonna do? And then a little sister. Little sister. She's so sweet. She always learned the stylist and playing with herself. Her name is Ming Lee. Because my best friend always had this imaginary daughter named Ming Lee. So. Me and her mom was up there talking about that and then uh, the kittens. And I'm like, that's how I'm going to name her. She the only girl I'm her, Ming Lee. Three boys and a girl, Ming Lee. <laughs> oh, uh. What's this energy for Cancer Leo Cubs Spirit Manifesto? Go watch that Cancer Leo child. That shit was good. That was a reading. Cancer, Cancer was in that reading like, I don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do, okay? I don't give a damn. My foot is being put down. I'm coming for all of it. It was a good ass reading, y'all. It really was. It's something about when a nice, sweet one. What you know, what was going on all of July or August? The rabbit got the gun. Look at you, party, party, party. Let's all get wasted, period. What's this energy for Cancer Leo Cubs? This is how they be at my white daddy house when we get off. <laughs> Listen here, don't I love when a motherfucker don't play with you? The King of Swords in the Page of Cups. I feel wholeheartedly someone, something, maybe even you. It's like you trying to put that nice sweetness on your tone, but it's like someone isn't respecting it. So when you turn gutter at, that's all they know. See, someone tries to be logical to a priest. High. But it's impossible to be logical to a priestess when your subconscious is illogical. You get it? You get it? It's the manipulation of the swords. Mm -hmm. Give me some more of this energy. I, I'm just, I'm just about to put these out. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This. Either you about to meet someone or you about to have some type of conversation with somebody, some type of good news about to come your dog on way, something about 
some somebody about to say something. You about to like what they about to say. Because the, the, the king of swords is here. So this could be you and your intellect. This could be you schooling a younger, just kind of like what just happened. Because my homegirl daughter, she on her little political rant. And she talked about, I just don't believe a um, felon should be a president. And y'all, I know I didn't have to say nothing, but she tried it. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a felon girl. What are you saying? The fuck, you still want this cat from the felon? Like, what the fuck we on right like, now? Nah. Fuck you saying? And then she was like, no, I'm just saying that they can uh, move about in the world and shit like this, but I don't think they should be, they should run this country. Uh, so now ain't, now ain't one thing Trump then did for this country. I don't give a fuck what he did for the country. I know what the fuck was done around this bitch for me. As a felon and as a mom, as a student. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's all he thing I can adhere to. And all I know on some real shit, I'm sorry. These aliens wouldn't run around in the street like this. Do an alien. Ha ha. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to me. So I wanted to I had to go to court with um about food stamps or EBT or whatever. Because well, two months I wasn't working. So I told the worker everything. So whatever. And then this bitch got on the phone with me for an hour and a half acting like a dumb bitch. And I had to dumb bitch her back because who the fuck are you playing with? Stop messing with my mental intellect. When somebody get the messing with my intellect and start being manipulative, I can't take it no more. So I had told her I just I just would rather not speak to her no more. Anyway, long story short, I requested a hearing on the bitch. So the next step when you request a hearing is the worker try to fix the situation. She did not. The supervisor come try to fix the situation. She did not. They set up a, a, a date for a, a phone conference to fix the conversation. I'm calling. Nobody answered. It's an hour past. I called the office asking what's tea. The lady look on the computer. She was like, oh, they're just going to take it to court. I was like, oh, well, then that's fine then. So the day of the the Zoom call we had, I had the folder. I had never opened this folder to go through everything in my case. Until that morning, an hour before the Zoom call, I started going through it and separating the stuff that was pertaining to what I was trying to, my argument basically. We got on this Zoom call. First of all, the bitch 15 minutes late. Then she did exactly what I told the little magistrate that she do. It's not my fucking problem. Your workload is so huge. I don't give a fuck. Find another job because mine is too. But guess what? I still got to pull up and do the damn job. Then she get to the mud and they told her to read. Read the such and such, some, some, the opening argument, basically. And then she was like, I can't find my packet. Oh, my God, I'm so unorganized. Uh, I'm sorry, I just came from, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I am not ready for this. I was like, wow. Every time she said shit like that, I was not ready for this. Or she said, I just came from, and then she giggled that shit the fuck off. I was like, Wow. Very unprofessional. I was saying a little shit like that. So then when she read it, when she said this one little part on how I contacted her and let her know what the error was and me requesting my bullshit and let her know this, 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 that, that is that, did 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 that, how she manipulated it. That was that that concluded my whole fucking argument. Summary, it was the summary. That concluded 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 my whole argument right there. I won. So, but the, the, the magistrate had to do her due diligence, so she let them talk. And I took notes. 
And then when she, then this lady interrupted. She called her, I miss Brown, the supervisor. I'm like, I don't know who this lady is. I never talked to this lady. I don't see how she come in like that. I don't know who this lady is. And so the lady shut the fuck up. And um, kind of find out, I later on found out she was the doggone supervisor who was supposed to talk to me before we went all the way to the case. To the, to the magistrate, she never talked to me. She never nothing. But you have this much of an opinion, right? You got all of this opinion. And she was like, I think the people need to look at the fact that just because you put it in doesn't mean it's going to take effect right then and there. That's not my fucking point. But three months later, it still haven't taken effect. You see what I'm saying? That's what it was. If I ain't got no income on, income on file, three months later, you telling me it still ain't supposed to take effect? You's a goofy bitch. So anyway, I stayed in my day still, whatever. This was so fucking fun. Because the last time I did something like this, my uncle's wife, I was getting $25 for my son every two weeks. And my uncle's wife was like, no, the fuck you was not supposed to be getting this on those state assistance with one child and you ain't working. And you know, my mama, oh, God, man, I did not have one of them kind of mamas, man. I don't know who she thinks she was, but I didn't have that. But my mama ain't helped me do shit. My uncle wife took me in that bitch, had me request a fucking hearing, and next thing I know, I got like $1,600 back and went and bought me a car. I just couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't even believe I was supposed to be getting out. And it was like a, it was like a year. You know, I was hustling, y'all. I was a felon. I was hustling, so it wasn't nothing on record. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't nothing on record. Oh, I did win one other time. This is when I was in college. I wasn't working full time. I wasn't getting no money for real. Not for real. I was only getting that college money and it sustained me and I knew how to do taxes. And that sustained me too. And it was all under the table. So you could you didn't know what the fuck I was getting. But that bitch played the dumbass motherfucking game too. I got that back paid. I think I went on the trip. <laughs> Don't judge me. You can't you can't use it against me. It was over seven years ago. I didn't do nothing though. It was it was my money and I wanted it now. <laughs> but no, this one was the same though. She sat up there and dug her own fucking grave. Cause soon as that lady had said, Did you ever call her or contact her when she put this form in? She was like, No, I did not. They was like, So when did you contact her? I was like, July twenty seventh is when I received a lover. I mean uh, June 27th is when I received a letter. I didn't talk to her until two weeks afterwards when she sat up there and said she was just keeping the case open longer to see if I was going to return proof. And then they was like, did she ever return proof? And the, 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 the dumbass worker said, yeah. And, they, and then she was like, well, what did the proof say? The proof said, I am not fired. It's just my hours had decreased. Bitch, you had it right there. You had the whole proof right there, not once, not twice, but three times, and you still wanted to play with me. That's what, she, that's what I told her she too fucking combative and she don't fucking listen. I did tell her that. I'm like, you keep acting like you going by laws and stuff like that. You're not. You're going by your own motherfucking attitude, and I ain't got time for that right now. I'm fucking frustrated and going through stuff, and you, you bugging the fuck out. So she was like, okay. No, I walked right in there. She out the clear blue sky. Said my stamps was supposed. The last time I talked to her, she said I was my full stamps was going up to 2.66. After you just tried to cut me off to 2.30, now I go up to 2.66. Bitch, let's go to court. Let's see what the judge said. And what happened? That judge was breaking that shit down. So you just didn't say nothing to her. You didn't call and confirm. So they was like, so when she went to training, what happened to that check? She made the training check ongoing after it was declared training. Then she lied and said she talked it to the job and said that I, I'm still in training. And never told me that she talked it to the job after her and I both was on the phone. And it was a, I'm not in training. And then, at the end of the day, I told her training was two weeks. So, how the fuck was they saying I'm still in training? And I started training beginning of July. Bitch, don't play with me. So, the lawyer was looking. The judge like, what? 
Hey, y'all know what? I think I am coming for everybody. For real, I got Mr. in the chokehold, the city of Detroit chokehold. I'm coming for everybody, because who the fuck y'all think y'all playing with? I said once I'm comfortable and can get a piece of mind, that's what my Mondays and Tuesdays is going to be dedicated. Playing with motherfuckers. Do you know what I'm saying? That wanted to play with me. Anyway, back to this goddamn reading. So I guess I stopped by to tell you to go play with them motherfuckers the way they want. No, no. Zeus, see, look, Zeus is dickhead. He don't try to jump in the whole water. Water bowl. I can't stand this. Look. See, let me shut up because this would be the cat I keep. This is Scorpio son, bro. This nigga retarded. Get your foot off the bowl. Cyrus has snapped, smacked up the other cat. I did not wake up early for this. This ain't what I got. I got to go back and take a nap. Go watch some ratchet shit on TV. Look, now he stuck his head in it. He is the coolest little duck. He is so cute and bad. I love cats, but I'm tired of them. Y'all want a free cat? Take your pick. It's only two black ones and a, um, the one that looks like Cyrus. Y'all want to see Cyrus? Cyrus! Okay, well, let me finish getting y'all reading out here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I don't wait for 20 minutes. Tell me what else is going on here. Tell me, cancel your cuss energy, straight master. I don't think you're giving a fuck right now. But I honestly feel like you're getting some type of communication. Coming towards you about something, and it's gonna be some good news that's gonna release a lot of burdens to you, Pooh. It's gonna release a lot. Something wrong with Cyrus Thunder, y'all, because he, he acting like Cyrus. He just curled up in a ball in the grass, and he won't get up. He won't say nothing to me. He just look at me. For a source, rest. One more card, Sweet Nancy. And this King of Pentacles. Oh, God. Y'all should always make it to some more King, king of fucking Pentacles. Do you know my daughter going to say to me yesterday? <laughs> She's going to say, Mom, I know you love me. And it's like me, you know, tall, slim, earth sign. I was like, girl, get your ass out of my damn house. <laughs> she getting on my damn nerve. <laughs> but I can see my daughter... I can, not as a lover, but her mindset and how she listens and how she articulates herself and how she had her moments and stuff and explains she having a moment, she need time, leave her alone with that. I do, I can get with that, get jiggy with it, how I help her uh, maintain her credit card and everything because they got the student credit card because that damn Aries, son of mine, Lord have mercy, if, if hard-headed was a human. But... I digress. He has chose to follow the lead of us. Because he tried to go have a chick do his fucking hair. And I'm like, I know you fucking lying. You ain't giving a bitch a dime and your sister can do that shit. And then next thing I know, Sunday, I was getting up to go to work. It was so cute. I had to take a picture. Oh, then she sent me a video. She did her fucking hair. But the funniest thing, y'all got to see him with his bonnet on that he's dedicated to wearing. I be dead. It's her bonnet. Because he ain't got one. She be telling him stuff to get. So he got the hair stuff and the clamps that he needed for his hair. Man, that bonnet had me dead. And he was like, I'm going to take it off. Then he, man, it's so funny. I just want to know, all of this was going good. And then he came. Why he here? Why he here? I, why he here? Why is he here? I got to tell y'all something else. I got to tell y'all something else. See, I told y'all to be having to tell y'all stuff. So, when I got off White Daddy House Sunday, I ain't gonna lie. I, I turned... I sent the email, my whole ride home, I, I didn't even drive, the whole ride home, I sent it, I was texting the email to HR, 
because they had me fucked up, okay? And I have learned, I have did it. I have conquered, y'all. I have humbled myself emotionally, mentally, physically. The Leo and the cancer side of me is humble. I don't, I don't, I'm not impulsive and reckless like I used to be no more. I'm very stern and strategic. I am stern and strategic. And I, I, I held, I think I held myself together that day, uh, yesterday. But it's, it's this, it's this, man. It's this man at my job. And I say it's a man. Because I was I've been waiting on his slut card to come out. But it ain't came out. He ain't came out like Oh, this is a lot of women, man. This is, I can understand why a man could be in heaven at my job. It's women everywhere. But it's men everywhere too. It's just a bunch of us, okay? But Cyrus, what are you looking at? Cyrus. But anyway, it's a bunch of, uh, it's the garbage truck. Trash day, y'all know I come with trash. It's time to take this king of pentacles outside. He got to go. You know what I'm saying? But no, look, so listen. That man fine, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. That nigga fine every damn day. I can't even hold y'all. I ain't seen nothing that fine in so long. You know, it's always some type of discrepancies wrong with a motherfucker. I don't see nothing wrong with this man. I just, I just, and I, I ain't dating him enough yet, but I ain't saying I won't. I will actually date at work. I would date him. Because the way he had checked me, I got turned on too. Like, oh. Because we was on camera and stuff. He like, I'm like, why was you in my business? Because he was asking me something about my neck. I don't know if I told you that. But anyway, he was asking me about my neck. And I'm like, why you in my, why was you in my business earlier? And he was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, you was in my business. He was like, why is you talking on camera? I'm like, why can't you talk on camera? That shit was so funny to me. And he was like, I don't talk on cameras or mics. I'm like, yes, sir. And I'm glad he did that. You want to know why? Because yesterday they were all in it. So the dude, he bought the supervisor, you know, he quit and shit yesterday. Because he, he's a mean lick. He's a yin wong. And he don't be wanting to write people up. He's just a sweet guy. But um, if you come trying to get him in trouble or something, he going to have to write you up. So he had to write this girl up. So he told everybody in my area, when you see that Abba and the number there, they're watching you. And soon as he said that, I've been watching that number every motherfucking day. So old girl got rolled up, then the dude gonna sit up there and say, I mean, she, the girl gonna sit up there and say she ain't do the shit. And the dude was like, damn, yes, she did. Then he sat up there and said, how you can't stay in this doggone job. You don't want to work here no more. She like, what are you talking about? And the one thing about that place, they gonna rewind the tape. They rewrote the tape that bitch couldn't do nothing but look shit faced it. Anyway, back to the regular schedule program. With the worker, bitch fell, bitch lost. Her and her, and the supervisor lady, you ain't hear from her no more that goddamn session. After I had said, I don't know who this lady is. Oh, and they asked me, did I have any final things to say? And she talked, and, and she got her ass up there talking about the office did everything they can. I'm like, no, the office did not. The office didn't contact me. The office didn't budget how I said budget, nor did I hear from a supervisor or any other administrator because this woman is hard to talk to. So somebody else coming in to um, navigate the situation in a better manner or what is it they do when you, basically what the magistrate did. You know when somebody else is there, the third party is there and they help you, that person come in to deviate the situation better than it would have been all right. Nobody ever contacted me. Nobody ever heard my side. Nobody ever nothing. They just instantly took me to fucking court. Nobody even told me that I wasn't even having a supervisor call no more. I ain't getting nothing. I just got sent straight to court. That bitch ain't say shit else the rest of the goddamn conversation because bitch, don't you ever say the office did the best that they fucking killed. I had more success with the paralegal. But the paralegal was like, girl, I ain't supposed to be doing this. Because she got to looking at the dog on okay? case. She was like, mm, yeah. Well, 
All right, she was like, are you still working at that place? I was like, it was training. Training, no, training was two weeks. And yet today I ain't received offer. She gonna say she had a phone call with the dog on office and the office told them I was still, I was still work. It is a job and I'm still working there. They are not privy to say no shit like that, especially if they haven't extended the offer. Where's that? They said I needed to have it in writing that I was in training. Bitch, having writing that they said that that wasn't training. Bitch, you not above the law, okay? So what's good for the goose is good for the donkey and the rat and the cow and the bull. What are you talking about? Let me start telling y'all my business. All I know is I wear my motherfucking case in my damn. I got the letter in my stamps gonna be loaded for you two months. That's all I wanted. I know I ain't gonna be able to, I know I can't have stamps no more. I know. But you, the two months gonna mean a lot to me. Okay? Y'all don't know how to say it. And not only that, the poverty level. It's not equal to the uh, minimum wage level anymore. People, the minimum wage hasn't went up. Poverty hasn't, the poverty level haven't went up. The poverty level was at like, if you at 575 an hour. Minimum wage is 1010 10 now. What the fuck is you talking about 575 an hour? So the poverty level to me need to be 1010 10, because where the heck you going to work and pay, get a, pay a house and your utilities? And live peacefully at 10, 10 an hour in America, not nowhere. Okay, let's get down to this reading, y'all, for real. This is serious. So the King of Swords got something to say, and they standing on it. But it looks like you're coming at in peace, okay? Not not, not so much as peace. You have a youthful energy to you. I don't feel like this youthful energy is something bad. I just feel like it's you just it seem like um, immaturity around it. It's not immaturity that I'm feeling, though. It's just feeling like a young energy. Because you can be very stern and firm, but have that youthful energy. Like, that's how I feel. And I feel like that's why people attraction the youth is more attracted to me. Well, you know, I can, I can do the daddy and the son. Now. Don't play with me. I can go for 28, 48. What's, it, it don't matter. What you want? What you talking about? <laughs> Cause I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That little boy at my job talking about he was 26 with three kids and divorced. I almost fell on the floor. The other nigga was 25 with five kids. I almost fell on the floor. The other nigga told me his daddy was murdered and um, his mama was for the streets. So his homeboy and mama took him in. I'm like, God damn. Like, God. You motherfuckers didn't went through it. Um, the one girl broke out and started crying in the bathroom. She started hitting the dog on uh bathroom stall doors and stuff. She's like, I don't understand why every time it's a fucking promo, we gotta have a fucking period. Like, why does she have to create this shit? I'm like, it's gonna be okay. She's like, I'm gonna make it through this. I'm like, you gonna make it through it? You. She, was, she just was banging on shit. And she's like, I gotta get these big ass pads. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> oh, I felt so sorry for that damn girl. I really did. She was going through it. She, you know how she was crying and stopping and crying and stopping. It was crazy. I, I had to get out of there. I was gonna start crying too. Like, why, why? <laughs> who, who the other dude? The other dude, these, the two older dudes, they, not the one I like. We gonna just take him out of the equation because whoo, if he keep talking to me, I don't know what to do. And then when he told me to come into his office, girl, where, where you want me to go? You want me naked? So now, <laughs> Fucking bother me so much. Then them arms, man, that ripped ass body. Oh, shit. Look at my little horny ass. I, I straight 
said, feel like the rose to this King of Pentecost is stressing me out because I just can't get over why he here. And if y'all wasn't here, I'd break this whole damn shit up because I'm sick of him. I don't even want to. It's like a turn off. Gosh, I don't even want to see this heifer. So anyway, you're going to get some type of good news, I feel. It, 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 it's like... Somebody probably going to say something nice and sweet, some, like a love offer to you or offer you some type of a love offer or something like that. It's some type of romance. This could be me right now. I'm not going to lie. In fairy tale land about a motherfucker that don't even know my name. But, well, he do know my name. But I ain't crushed in a long time, y'all, so bear with me, okay? Not a human, a celebrity, but not a human. Celebrities aren't humans. They're zombies to me. It don't matter. The only person that's a human is uh, Madam Ephraim. Judge Mathis and his wife. Oh, God. Oh, God. I cannot talk about that. I cannot talk about that. Y'all know Judge Mathis be all in these Detroit streets. Him and his fucking wife. And I remember, I was so starstruck. He was the first celebrity I had seen. I had seen school or something we was at greenfield plaza and then we was going downstairs and he got on the doggone elevator and i just was so stuck looking at him what was that the elevator door was closed he was like hold on now motherfucker don't leave my wife i didn't even say nothing back i was just looking and then i see his wife i'm like oh that's a bad bitch baby she was fine as fuck and then I seen her now, and I'm like, she looked better than she did when I originally met her. How? That's that black. And it don't cry. Lord knows it don't cry. I think I feel like your sensitivity has gone through the, the roof. And when I say sensitivity, it's like your sensitivity around the bullshit. It's just like you laying in the bed at 6 o'clock in the morning, somebody slammed the door. It's up. Everybody get the fuck out. I don't give a damn. Who you, I don't care if you three months. Get the fuck out of my goddamn house. I have a problem. Don't get to doing that shit. That's just like... That's just like, I don't know. I'm chilling, candle lit, grooving, smoking, and somebody start banging dishes in the sink. You got to go. You and your whole existence has to remove yourself from my presence. What is you doing? Or what that shit my cousin son used to do? He used to get up before everybody and slam the motherfucking kitchen cabinets. Girl, I'm not about to play these kind of games with you or this little nigga just because you want him to be crazy to get the check. He's not crazy. The only thing making him crazy is you excusing this kind of behavior. And then she wanted to, my daughter had to get in trouble for something he did because that's how I go. All of the cousins get in trouble. No, fuck they don't. My daughter ain't getting, she ain't got nothing to do with this shit. Fuck that little crazy ass little boy did that on his own. Everybody told him not to and he did it on his own. But you want everybody to get in trouble? No, my baby ain't getting in trouble. Fuck that. Because if they turned around and blew his shit back to stop him, they still would have got in trouble. So get the fuck on. I don't like that kind of shit. That's because that be the mamas that try to cover up their kids' bad ass ways and stuff like that. But I do believe your sensitivity around your emotions and you protecting your logical side because because right now you in a, a energy of being very intellectual when it comes to things the last thing you is now is stupid so you're not about to play stupid games with stupid people you're very disciplined and you have a lot of clarity around things now some of y'all probably had a do-over with this king of pentacles and you realize how much you just so glad you're over it. You know what I'm saying? But it's some type of good news, something very inspirational coming in. Something that's going to excite you, that's going to release a burden and help you rest. But then here he go. I don't even think he was supposed to come out. What y'all think? Y'all think he was supposed to come out? Because I don't think he was supposed to. How did you 
Kiki. But this is what what she said. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. So this is what you probably telling this person. Look, look, look. Let me let, let me holler at you, little homie, little young blood. That's what that is. I feel like this person is being stubborn. This is like you can ban. This is like, say for instance, you tell somebody, um, look, no, nah, didn't I say this yesterday? I think I'm telling you on the same story. Like, no, nah, you ain't got to come over today. I see you've been working hard. I think you're tired and everything. You going on, stick it on out. I see you another day and shit like that. And they trip out on you. And be like, I wanted to come over, da da da. So you be like, okay, come over. And let's see, you know, they just sit a whole autobiography on why you wrong for telling them they couldn't come over. After you literally just said, come on. So after the biography, you be like, well, I would thought I was being nice. I thought that was a good thing. I thought I was looking the fuck out because you, you know, you working, you busy, you got a lot going on. I thought I was hooking up. They still going on you. This is a manipulative cunt. I said what I said. He's the cunt. I need me a thorough day, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This motherfucking financial ruin. I feel like he's financially ruined. He's terrible with his fucking money. He's lazy, but he's lazy at like paperwork. So this could be somebody that's attracted to you, your intelligence. But not physically really attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? That's like the King of Pentacles could do that. Because he see how smart you is and what you're able to provide, do, and accomplish. So I don't I don't know. Something weird about this. He'd be attracted to somebody with a bank account, to a big ass bank account, somebody with credit scores, material. This is someone that's attracted to material because he feels like he can manipulate it out of you to gain something for himself. Excuse me. And this is also someone who will uproot your whole dog on life. He will come. This is some impulsive energy. Because they'll come at the spur of the dog on moment. And try to like, come on, be with me. Do it with me. Spend time with me. Me, 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 me. But it won't be equally reciprocated. They're going to have 900 excuses on why they cannot be available to you. Whatever relationship this person has with money affects how he's able to have a relationship with a human being. He might sit up there and say, well, my mama got 800 credit score but won't co-sign me a car. And she ain't got to, bitch. Go get your credit score up there, bitch. But some men really think like that. They think like that about their girlfriend, every damn thing. And they'll beat your ass now. I'm going to get a money card. Just say, babe, some of y'all relationship towards money is terrible and you got to do better. But I really feel that y'all are in the, um, uh, where that dick at? Y'all in the energy of saving and prospering and doing better with your money and with your household and stuff like that when it comes to finances. Y'all you, you, are getting things in order. Like y'all probably had a little downward spiral due to things, but... Y'all coming back to your senses. Everybody has a bad time. But it seems like something about this person has a bad time for a long time. Because the more he comes up sometimes, it's always in a negative context. But I'm going to tell you one thing. A King of Pentecost that got his shit together? That, my daughter might be right about that. Tell me about the King of Pentecost in reverse. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Very nice. So cancel the old cup. Sorry, was you doing weird shit? Baby, you don't pay me no mind. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Fruit to labor and wisdom. You got loyalty here. It says true friendship and loyalty are among the most important values. Be loyal to your friends. What? How is this King of Pentacles in reverse loyal? Or that this could be a sign of partnership. Ooh. Joining forces with business partners for win-win cooperation. Patronize your connections. Ooh. 
y'all about to be stuck with the ooh. It seems like y'all would be better off as business partners as lovers in your way. Taurus, Taurus, we good with uh, business with Taurus. But Taurus be too obsessive sometimes and controlling them shit. It depends. Cause we got them low vibrational ones, man. Get the fuck off. <laughs> Why this King of Pentacles is in reverse? I'm about to clarify these in reverse. A Queen of Wands is in reverse. So this could be what's the blockage between you all. Or this person doesn't have the fire or the flame or the passion that they used to have. Or it's somebody that they came in between you all's connection or you could be that Queen of Wands. It's somebody they walked on away from or have walked away from or they're going to walk away from you because of this bitch. Something like that. Who is this? What's this Queen of Wands energy? It seems like the, the spell work they try to use on you, it never works. Whatever she conjures up or happens, this woman comes into play. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in reverse, which is Queen of Pentacles. Addiction. This person is a, has a codependent, a co obsession and restraint, possession and control, and emotionally blocked. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> He feels obligated to this Queen of Wands for some type of reason. Tell me about this King of Pentacles obligation to this Queen of Wands in reverse. Cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, and the silent treatment. Honestly, you could be the Queen of Wands. You want to know why? Because someone could be obsessed with you. This King of Pentacles could actually be obsessed with you. Somebody could actually be letting go of this King of Pentacles. You're letting go of the King of Pentacles or vice versa. Somebody's letting go of this Queen of Swords. But tell us about this, I mean, tell us about this King of Swords. Spirit and Ancestors energy for Cancer Leo Cups. Key on a ring. Many options, unconventional, one night stand, and a string along. Mm, 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 mm. Motherfucker ain't shit, y'all. They just ain't shit. So what is this addiction surrounding this uh Queen of Wands in reverse though? Spirit and ancestors. The Ten of Swords in, in reverse. Recovering. Recovering from some type of betrayal. So I feel like the bitch did something to him. And they in separation, and they don't want nothing to do with each other. The silent treatment. I, I feel like this is what's happening to y'all. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's some, something like this is happening between y'all. Cyrus, go sit down. That truck ain't going to get you. And what, 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 what is the addiction? Did I have the addiction? Uh, why is the uh, King of Pentacles getting cut out? Or who is he cutting out? What's getting cut out? Shit. They, they might try to intentionally not communicate with you. Ooh. Oh. What? This is a self-sabotager. If they cutting somebody down... It's deep. It's deeper than I planned on being. <laughs> this is a new opportunity. So somebody's cutting out this new opportunity, this passionate opportunity to, to stop the pattern. And it, I don't know. This is like a game that's being played. Or somebody is realizing they have to cut this Queen of Wands all the way off in whatever addiction and obsession that they have for them to actually go forward and move forward with you. It seems like you all got into some type of confrontation. You know what I'm saying? Something happened with you all, and it wasn't because of you. It was because of what they're going through with this Queen of Wands in reverse. So they're projecting it onto you. I'm going to keep it real. You is the king of the, the, the king of swords. I feel like you got all types of hoes. 
or this King of Swords, Swords is one of your options. I do. Judge me now. I feel like you have a lot of people approaching you, trying to talk to you because of your intellect, and it's attracting them to you even more. So you need to really, really, really just take into consideration who you are in this situation. Another thing I'm getting here, somebody has self-sabotage. I personally feel disconnection with this Queen of Wands because they want to uh, blame this Queen of Wands for the reason why the relationship has come to an end. But it feels like this Queen of Wands is recovering from the betrayal of this King of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles is recovering from this betrayal. Whatever. Nevertheless, it's an addiction. Somebody has an addiction towards this Queen of Wands, so she has one towards them. But this new opportunity, it's a retrograde. So if you started a new opportunity with them, they're having one with someone too. And, and, and it'd be like that. And then trust and believe. It could have been over, and now the bitch is back. It could have been over with you and now they're back. So you could have took the time to move forward with this person, but it's not going to be successful because just like they they could be your retrograde karma. This is his retrograde karma. And until you all both face it, it's just going to, it's a never ending story. Oh. Tell us about this King of Swords energy. The Cancer Leo Cups. What's this King of Swords energy about? This is a new energy to me, and I think this King of Pentacles is a past energy. Three of Wands in reverse. No, you know what I was saying about a, a, a manipulator? I feel like this King of Swords could possibly be a manipulator. But at the same time, if it's you, you don't see this situation going nowhere. That's why you kept your options. I feel like you didn't, you you, you was open to it. But once you start seeing the red flags, you, you don't carry the weight like you used to carry no more. You gave it your try and you moved on. I don't fucking know. Yeah, because you, you want a happy family. Oh, yeah, baby. You gave it your try. Oh, yeah. Oh, bitch. Well, that'll do it. I wouldn't be looking at this Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords is in reverse. I, I, I really don't. I think it's more going on in this situation than this person I'm meant to. Tell me about the Three of Wands in reverse. The King of Cups is in reverse. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I feel like if you were dealing with a King of Cups in reverse, it, it, it's, it's a blockage here. You, you're not allowing your uh, emotions to get involved with this situation no more, or you all have come to an end. You felt like you was just one of the many options. You didn't think nothing of it. Or they're starting to feel like they're one of your many options. I don't know, and I don't even give a fuck. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse. Watching, lurking, stalking, page of swords is in reverse. Who the fuck is this nigga? This could be somebody who's trying to figure out why the hell you don't want them, why you don't like them. They have some type of obsession for you. Somebody has want to know why you're so emotionally blocked towards them, why you're so passive, condescending. I don't know. You know how they say all that crazy shit about uh, cup, I mean, water signs. I mean, and a lot of it is true. It's just in this situation, I don't know what's going on. It seems like they're heavenly stalking and watching you or vice versa. <clears throat> well, y'all know how it go. Are you stalking them or they stalking you? It's up to you. I feel like they did not expect this, these delays that's happening in their life. And I feel like if this King of Swords energy is you, you have received clarity and truth around the delays that has happened in your life. You realize why they have come in. Yeah, it seems like you realize what's going on now. And you, 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 you suppress it. You're being very, very cold and volatile. That's how someone perceives you, but really it's just you. 
-hmm. being stern and firm and standing on your boundaries and some people is hard to accept that sometimes you could be you just might be dealing with a king of swords that want this type of second chance with you and you just like at this point it's no form or case in hell that you can ever ever in your life deal with this person again Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. This motherfucker crazy. I feel like this King of Cups energy is crazy. And I feel like this King of Swords, if this is you, and you you, you emotionally off balance, I, I think you need to gather yourself real fast. I feel like somebody done started investigating someone. Lurking and watching and looking for certain things more than you did at first because of how things had taken place. The manipulation, the deception, the hastiness. That's, that's usually grounds for people rushing you into relationships or rushing to have sex with you. It's because there's some type of manipulation going on here. And some people use that for control. Some water signs use it for control. They do. And they be real cold. They get real nasty. They get real volatile because you're not interested. You are too clear on what you want, where you're going, what you're trying to do. And so you knew when somebody was trying to make you an option, you're not interested in being an option because you will fuck shit up. And people don't understand that. See, when women tell them, like, bro, I brush you in your mouth. And you be th they be thinking, like, they like that little zestiness. But... You don't want to do that. I don't want to be like that with someone. I got to beat the fuck out of you for you to understand that's not what I want. That's I don't like that shit either. Like, what the fuck I want? Tell me about this page of swords in reverse. Put this king of cups in reverse. Six of cups is in reverse. It's just, they ain't let go of something. They probably got six kids. I don't know. But they haven't let go of something in their doggone past. And I think you felt that. But see, they're projecting. They're blaming you. You could be stuck in the past. You could be stuck in the past, and that's why it's hard for you to move into this situation. But I really and truly think you this king of swords now, and you very intellectual, and you putting your guard down, and you being more open to love. I feel like everybody that's returning or coming up in your doggone energy is mad at you for growing. I feel like you have grown, and they're upset with the growth. The change, the involvement, because they expected you to be let worse off than where you at. And since you're not, it's really, really taking them through the loop because they thought they was gonna be able to still come back around and be a nothing. And now that they came back around, they realized they gotta level up even higher. Some of them are watching you. They actually didn't see you talk to you, and you was like, I want to move today, I got my house, I got that, and they upset. Some of them see you in a new car and be like, damn, I just got this bitch, A, hey, felt like my daddy. You know how you had your little moments. Hell, you is in Three of Cups energy. You're celebrating things that you have accomplished because you have allowed so many people to distract you from your doggone path. And now, now that you bulldozing everybody, I'm going to post this video of this lady riding through the doggone shit. I don't know what she buys, some type of, somewhere where these alligators be. And she got this shovel, and she riding, and she talk about, ain't nothing going to stop me, and all of that type of stuff. Uh, good vibes, and I'm in it. And she banging the fuck out of them alligators, talking about could path, could have path, ain't nothing about to distract me. I got to post that. As soon as I'm done, I'm posting that, because that, that shit is dead. That's the energy you in. You in the knock a bitch out stage. You don't care about what everybody has to say, what everybody thinking, how you're being judged. Because for so long, you've done that. You have self... <sighs> Sabotage to help others. And all they have watched you do is just... Fuck, <clears throat> fuck in the dirt.
Some of y'all, it really and truly is an unhealthy relationship between you and your past. And you need to you need to really, really get to that. But in this situation, it really seems like this person is having an unhealthy relationship with the past on how they treated you. And, and the thing that makes it so unhealthy is the fact, whatever happened in that past, I don't care if you was a Chicago hoe. The fact that you can walk around with your head as high as you, you, you do and you don't fear the past. It pisses people off. It really do. Okay, yeah. What's this, uh, what's this four stores energy about? Tell us about the four. I don't know. This is just somebody is resting, getting some rest, waiting. I don't think you bothered no more about something. Yeah, I, I think you're going to release something and not be bothered by it no more. Oh, I'm supposed to do Virgo. Virgo be so draining, man. Well, it is an earth sign. They be so draining. All them signs up there saying all of that stuff. I really don't like when readers do that. They really, really put everything on everybody else except the actual reading. It's like nobody really never grows because you cannot accept the fact that you were the one in the wrong because you go to readers and readers justify your behavior just for a like and a view and I... I really just feel like that's the sorcery in tarot. When people manipulate the fucking energy and it causes chaos in the streets. I actually respect the ones that be coming on TV shows and be telling people the truth. Like, girl, that nigga about to get back with his baby mama. You just spent all your fucking money. And that nigga about to get back with his baby mama. That nigga about to go, he gay. I mean, I don't know. What's this good news that's coming in? Let's, let's talk about this good news. What's this good news that's coming in to cancel your cup? Two of wands. Moving forward. It's good news is a decision that's about to be made. Somebody's about to make some type of decision. What is this decision? A win, an investment. Ooh. Tell me, what is this decision that's coming in? This good old decision. Ooh, the sun is in reverse and the spirit guides is in reverse. Ooh, ten of pentacles is in reverse. Wait, what, what's the spirit guides about? You need to feed your altar. You need to go to your guides to let your guides. And always let your conscious be your God. Disconnect clutter. You have been disconnected from your higher self Ouch. and your guides. It may be missing some important messages. Your guides are saying that it's time to slow down. Stop the guesswork and come to them for help. Dust off your altar, feed it, your folks, and tap into the wisdom. Maybe you're deciding to do that. But it's something around this sun that's making it so dark. Dang, my back hurts. Cause why is the sun in reverse? It don't get no worse than this. It's like delays, unrealistic expectations. Somebody say you have an unrealistic expectations. I don't see how this is good news though. Cause something isn't, I, I, I feel like this is a manipulated energy. This is an invasion of the energy here because something is going your way. You made a decision for something to go your way, right? But the manipulated energy is this isn't going someone else's way. Why the sun in reverse for this uh, decision to move forward? Spirit and ancestors. Reconciliation. There we go, right there. Why are these cards in reverse? I'm sick of them being in reverse. Think about the good times. The good times, baby. Five of stores. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to reconcile. Then I say it's energy being manipulated. This is somebody who wants to have a conversation with you. 
They want to talk. This is somebody who thought they won the battle and the war, and they did not win the battle or the war. I told you, these are going your way. See, see, when they come back to the drawing board, when they come back to you to talk to you, it's always something good going on with you. You're not in a, a, a case of decline, 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 decline. You're evolving. This is pissing someone off. Because while they're in misery, because something isn't going their way, and they need things to fuck up so that you can be codependent on them. This is someone looking for you to be codependent, but you too smart for that. Because we have done a lot of intu intuitive work. And it bothers people. It really do bother people, though. When you don't need them. When you successfully accomplish things on your fucking own, it, they hate it. Then they hate, they hate, like, like, like this fool just tripped. Because I was talking about how, we were talking about going to car dealerships and the motherfucker was, uh, I, I went to, uh, uh, what you call them people? Uh, a lot. And they told me a thousand down, 380 a month. And I'm like, okay. I go to a F lot. And I ain't even calling that bitch a D lot. A F lot. This nigga said I had to pay for the whole car. And I'm like, huh? What the fuck is you talking about? I never heard of such nonsense in my motherfucking life. Who told you that? Where did you get that from? <laughs> did you want to know what this nigga said? But we can run your daughter name. Bitch, you can run your mama name. You would never run my daughter name for no stupid ass shit. No dumb ass lot like this. The fuck? Your touch screen ain't even touching. These cars is outdated and down by and basic. I'll be sitting back up in this bitch hollering it's a lemon. No, hell no. We just came to check some shit the fuck out. And then that's when the dude had told me you should, I shouldn't have had my uh, credit ran there because they put a hard inquiry on them. See, he never said that. He sat there and said uh, it, it barely touches your uh, income. It, 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 I should sue that bitch off of that. And I'm in a suing ass mood too. But yeah, it was a hard inquiry. I I, I seen it because the letter came in the mail and everything. I even got an alert on my credit. Talk about like, bitch, what the fuck is the FICO? They will tell you what the fuck is you out here doing? Now we was on the on the move. Now you just set us back. Wait, what's I, what's I saying, y'all? Y'all made me forget. But I really do think that's what the fuck had happened, though. Yeah, I, I, I feel like somebody need an ego check. Because they're really mad at you. Like, this is somebody who said... Just because you got this, just because you got that, don't mean you this and this and that and that. Someone is projecting. This is projection in your reading. Because how do you want to reconcile when you resent me? You know what I'm saying? This is someone who wants to reconcile, but they can't stand your fucking guts. Damn, that's fucked up. And I feel like you just tired. You fought for this already. And you tired. You, you're not even interested in moving forward. It's just like, okay, whatever. You willing to release the burden. It's not worth it anymore to you. You giving up. You're exhausted. You saying like, okay, you got it. You won. You dig? So, it seems like someone resents you for... What they did to you. Because now you're able. If, if they feel as if you hold it over their head. And it don't seem like you spoke about nothing. But they the guilt is eating them up. The fact that they were the ones who initiated the pain in this situation. That's why I feel like it's happening here. Some type of pain 
or attack was initiated in this situation towards you and you forgave this person and tried to move on and instead this person held resentment over you so they tried to deflect it back to you soon as you make one wrong move move they want to hold you at a, a, a delusional standard actually because this is how they justify not apologizing if you ask me i'm not going to apologize to you because you um you said you wanted tacos i got you tacos i look in the refrigerator they were still there but just because they still there that don't mean i i'm not gonna eat them what i asked you for tacos at five bitch it's ten you don't think i ate since then like that type of shit is just the logic behind the mayhem and it, 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 it is no logic in the mayhem that's why i said illogical individual that king of pentacles illogical he's not even thinking properly because he's so caught up on taking you down trying to victimize themselves what is this lover's energy here about what the fuck is going on five of pentacles why the five of pentacles here for the lovers it's someone who left you out in the cold or someone you left out in the cold or the seven of swords. No, this is somebody who they snuck off. This is someone who repeatedly leave them out to the cold or this could be you and they're running, sneaking, being with you. Somebody about to run off and sneak and be with somebody and play the little stupid ass game that they play. Tell me about the seven of swords this year. What is this sneakiness or seven of pentacles, an investment that they got, something that they invested in? What is it? They want to invest in. Tell us about this investment for the Seven of Swords, a Queen of Pentacles. You could be the Queen of Pentacles too. And it's a new opportunity between you and this King of Pentacles. But this King of Pentacles, I'm, I'm here to tell you now. They are connected to this Queen of Wands or you could be this Queen of Wands. That's recovering from repeated betrayals. Because every time this person come along, it's after this Queen of Pentacles leave them out in the cold. Uh, this can, this really can go either way. Let's see who she is. Because this could be somebody coming to make you a wife. This is somebody who has a wife. This could be somebody who's looking at you as the third party. This could be a third party that constantly intervene. And this person is trying to put their foot down and have them a stable connection with somebody. To, look, self-indulgence, self-worth, value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. This is what that Queen of Pentacles is doing. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice, I feel like well, whoever this is or whatever's going on, they was left off in the cold because they kept sneaking around, chasing, fear, abandonment, chasing, and codependencies. What? Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. Here you go. Look. Self-indulgence. And maybe you are a chaser. I ain't gonna lie, maybe your ass do be getting chased. Fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependent. You probably is codependent. I don't know why you think you ain't. You a cancer. Cancers get, get very codependent. What is this Queen of, Pente Queen of Pentacles codependency? Trust the message. <laughs> Trust the message. What is the chaser energy in the Queen of Pentacles? The three of swords. I feel like I feel like you need to be chased in order to heal your broken heart. And like the believe that is real. Uh, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something else that might hit you a little deep. You might chase a lot of energies that break your heart. You chase after people that mean you no good. It's like as soon as the red flag hit, you like somehow think that you captain save a hoe or you captain heal a hoe and you don't captain chick, okay? You run straight into heartbreak. Why is this three of swords here? It looked like you gave somebody another chance and that shit went rolled again. Mm. The four of wands. See, see, you own love and marriage and happiness or your heart's going to be broke because you're going to find out this King of Pentacles is married. Is this King of Pentacles in reverse marriage for you? That's, that's this nine of cups. Nah, I'm motherfucking single. Bitch, you better be glad. 
Bitch, he better be glad. <laughs> I'm so like so what tell me about I feel like somebody is heavily attracted to you because of your self-worth and self-value that you have for yourself. I feel like they're trying to attack how much you have healed. That's why the reflection is here. That's why they're trying to project shit back to you. That's why they need to go talk to the spirit guys because you have won the battle and the motherfucking war. You got the Oscar, the Grammy, everything y'all supposed to have. You sung the song and you act out the whole goddamn movie for the bitch from the beginning to the end. Now you done. Tell me why this nine of cups is here. Five. Whoa! Five of cups and justice. This is somebody's karma. I feel like they didn't play with you for the last time. So either it's this Queen of Pentacles, uh, somebody's karma, this Queen of Wands karma for constantly intervening in this King of Queen of Pentacles energy. Or a relationship, commitment, or union. This might be your karma. The scales is being balanced for going back to a past energy that you should have left alone. Yes, we get in trouble for that shit. It's a retrograde. What the hell you think is going to happen? It's a lesson. I feel like somebody's karma is somebody being emotionally fulfilled and celebrating or in a union with somebody the fuck else. I, I, it seems like someone tried to block you from moving forward and having a happy ever after with somebody else by kept coming in with their toxicity, with their trail of bitches behind them and toxic addictions and lack of loyalty and stability. And this is somebody you probably knocked out in the cold many a times. All types of shit. But it seemed like somebody is upset about that. But you about to find out a lot. Tell me about this justice. Ten of Pentacles. Come on now with the justice. Stability, longevity, and you're going to get your fortune. They're going to regret it. See, somebody about to press charges too and move forward. Tell me more. Tell me more about the justice for Cancer Leo Cups. This is a nice three. And there we go. Back at the three of cups. Celebrating with your friends. Hey, give me a tip. Give me a tip. I'll take a tip. If y'all sitting up there getting bags and shit. This is going to be the, the ultimate regret. That somebody, somebody's going to regret that regret, regret that they ever tried you. They, they are. They're going to regret that they ever got involved with anything surrounding your ten of pentacles. Your stability. Because the karmic scales are going to balance. Especially... When you leave with a pure heart, I shake.